the 18 4 0. But, Neil, tonight's another night. Well, it is a night. Not much doing last season for the Swiss. Six first round exits in ranking event. He's on there tonight. Very well done. Yeah, really good, isn't it? I mean, he's somebody that should get these results, really. Yeah. Some more consistency now. Not quite dazzling snooker. But since then... 26. And Jimmy Robertson, the winner of that, will play. 52. They should just keep this break going. Get a nice way of playing, isn't he? Nice way of hitting the ball. Really well played off two cushions, but you're right. The shot with this without to even physically get to it. It's a nightmare shot, really. Chin job of Chen Zifan. He doesn't think that he belongs amongst these top players. So far, the results. Suggests that. Oh, that's up. I think Mark Williams before the match suggested he lost out to Chang Bing. Have not been consistent, but this is what he's capable of. Not quite a total clearance, but what a break that was for the target for a place in round three, the round of 32, against either Andy Hicks or Jimmy Robertson, who are, of course, underway as well this evening. Actually, he did go in there, and he cleared up and won the match 4-0. So it was an easy win for Lee Hangover, C. Jaoui, but pretty out. Is either Jordan Brown, former Welsh Open champion, or Tep Chire and New, former shootout winner. Difficult shot to play. Well, wow, that is difficult. It's the wrong... Oh, there you go. Immediate counter. The highest of the tournament so far. In Wigan. He wants beat him. Goodness. After his superb 100. Stephen Hendry, his great friend. Yeah, that's it. Not Gave Williams a little extra incentive, knowing that he's got to play well. He can't play much better than he has in this break. I think he can. With a side. Fabulous break, this. It really is. Rolls Royce queuing. 18. Mark Williams showing his champion quality and hitting back with 139. Fantastic. Some rapturous applause. So this arena has got a lot happening in it tonight. Terrific. The first two frames. Just the th winner, as mentioned earlier, to play either Jimmy Robertson or Andy. Well, the 
cue ball was as much in his thoughts as the pot there. But not much phases Mark Williams there. at all to the point where he I must admit when he one I think some <laughs> in the yellow and the brown Two cushions. Fourteen. Miss all the bright colours. Oh, he'll be really annoyed to have hit the brown there. There were other ways he could have gone. He's on the Russian back. It's a really good pop from Williams. One. Looking at the two reds to the right of the black. Six. It was a pretty spectacular change in fortune. Fortune. Played low on the black. Twenty. Twenty. Bit thin, isn't it? And that was a little bit awkward as well. It turns out. My boy was thirty-five. Yeah. Well, he knew things were bad. He, he didn't even want to play. The frame for Becker. Slightly easier now. It looks a good move. One. And? Which normally isn't a good sign. Interesting shot. <laughs> Kinds of right hand check side lorry loads of side. Really difficult. No matter back. how well you've had on, at least he didn't leave it for Williams. She might have done. However, uh, Absolute master at winning these tighter, more tactical affairs. Where's this red going to end up? Could end up. Oh, I missed. Oh, surprised me that. He's under hit that <laughs> by a distance.
Right now, tremendous win over Chen Si Fan. Took him barely an hour. Yes, Tep Jaya, who won the way. <laughs> well, the first red was the kind of fluke that uh, you almost have to see it to believe. Oh. It's gone a little awkwardly. For once, the players have missed a couple. It'll drop onto it. Thank you. One of those frames which is great to win, exasperating to lose, having invested so much time and effort to then come out empty. In the snooker of his own now, just running into the back of the Green board's been a very odd frame. You know, there's a lot of this been going on. Oh, he's had a, he's had a go. Oh, unlucky. Got right round the back of it. This is the kind of frame that you'd normally put your house on Williams winning, but... Need some help here because this. Hey. So there's. Okay. So that is. Seven. Twelve. And now he's used his snooker three. smart last word in quite a tactical, sometimes awkward frame. He's equally adept. Tap chop. One. I was looking at that three ball plant. and back red to the left of the black is a key. 10 no. 25 for this match weathered that early storm from Urson back in that wonderful century that superb 139 that he made in the second, and now. The one's just getting those wrong. Oh, Slightly well, over. Okay. Now he's Wait. been kept quiet. He's under us and back at six. We've already seen. Well, that's another mistake. Was it the green? Okay. Well, well, yeah, it was unseen by anybody else, wasn't it? As you say. One. Nine. 
Oh dear. No, it wasn't Philip, but didn't he play one really well? And I think when he looks around. I understand him not wanting to play on that. He's very good at those sort of shots. I mean, a couple of confessed the foul on himself. few moments he has completed a 4-1 victory over Andy Hicks. So it's Robertson to play the winner of this. Finish with it. One each between Jordan Brown and Tep Chira Nu. That's into the life and times of O'Sullivan. Backs himself. Needs to recapture that magic knee. Nine. Overhaul. Uh, sort of run of the... Nudge into the reds here. Ben Wollaston in the background there, just underway against John Astley on table three. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Wisely thought. That would explain why he's world number 64, because I think on ability. Easy ball there. No. Only for Williams to miss. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, the pockets, I'm sure, are looking. Very often, as the match gets into the One. sort of busy, half a dozen legs could be split. Well, he played into them but missed them. This match is not like uh, well done. One. One. Seventeen. The big screw shot. Oh. Yeah. Something about his demeanor here. But Williams himself has lost his way somewhat since when. himself in this frame but he's not been punished for once Nine. yeah Jordan Brown over there 17. recently but this is still a fascinating match actually 78 points apiece Just about managed to One. cut that red in. It looks as though he might have overcut it initially. Bring up to a ball colour to lay the snooker. We saw Sam Craigie come a cropper earlier against Selby in that regard.
played it well. He played it with a bit of right hand side just to whip the cue ball round. Now he needs the cue ball to stop. from the audience. Opportunity to see what was a great bit of queuing from Williams. Could it be a frame winner? He's always been very good at putting matches away. That's what. But his temperament oh. just got a little bit of an angle. That's nice. Opportunity. And from the defending champion Mark Allen, the first two frames. And to kill the match off as a result of that, kept his hopes alive in the previous frame, but couldn't do anything about. Last season, eight has got it done in 